Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another hot sauce to review for you guys. Now this is another one from Melbourne Hot Sauce uh, located in Australia. Just some outstanding products. Some of the best uh, pepper sauces. I call them that because that's what I've reviewed so far from them. Kind of a vinegar based pepper sauce. Some of the best I have ever tasted. Now vinegar based Louisiana style pepper sauces happen to be one of my favorite types of hot sauces makes a good table sauce uh, just outstanding products and this one today is no exception uh, this is one of their hotter ones uh, this is the habanero roja or habanero red from melbourne hot sauce once again just love these labels very cool looking design like the fact that you can just see the red habaneros that are in here all right let me go ahead and uh, read what it says on the website on this one it says heat with flavor this is our most popular hotter variety of sauce and a great addition to any food that needs that extra kick. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get into the ingredients on this one. Um, well, let me read this. It says, handcrafted in St. Kilda, Melbourne, with mainly local and some imported ingredients, all natural ingredients and methods, no additives or preservatives, refrigerate after opening, respect the chili. All right, that's very, very cool. Okay, you're not going to find any xanthan gum in his uh, sauces. Uh, ingredients, we start off with habanero, vinegar, citrus, ginger, sugar, and salt. A little bit more clarification on those ingredients on the website. It says habanero, ginger, lemon juice, so that's the citrus, vinegar, salt, and sugar. Now, what I love about this sauce is the color habanero red. Just take a look at that. Uh, a very nice consistency. This is exactly what you want to see in a, a pepper sauce, a vinegar-based pepper sauce. Just awesome looking. Look at that. And one other thing I like about uh, Melbourne hot sauce is these uh, flow restrictors. Uh, I just wish they uh, would do that here in the uh, States uh, because it is so much better than these. All right. I'm going to take it off for this review, but you get that nice little uh, raised part right there that actually keeps it a little bit cleaner uh, as you use it. Yeah, it's going to get a little bit messy as you use it, but uh, definitely a little bit cleaner with that um, type. All right, now guys, on this one, on the aroma, this stuff is amazing. I mean, it is just an upfront, in-your-face blast of habaneros. Um, very intense, sharp red habanero pungent hot smelling habanero aroma it does not smell vinegary at all to me i'm picking up a little bit of that lemon juice and i believe i believe i can kind of pick up some notes of the ginger as well but awesome combination to blend in with habaneros i think it's a good choice uh, that uh, richard nelson did with this is that um I think the combination of the ginger and the citrus kind of tones down uh, the, the heat or maybe the sharpness that can come from habaneros, uh, but wow, this stuff smells hot. It just smells, if you love habaneros, that's what you're smelling, and it's incredible. All right, let's show you what it looks like. And I leave the flow restrictors on, but I'm just doing it here for this review to make it easier to pour a good spoonful with my left hand. All right, here we go. Look at that. Mm. Ooh. Wow. Man, this stuff is awesome. Intense, upfront, uh, stingy, beginning to sting on the tongue a bit, a little bit. Habanero flavor. And as I talk, the, the tongue just starts stinging, uh, just like a habanero pepper would, would do. Uh, this gives you a stingy, immediate habanero burn to it but it's very, very nice. It's pretty darn hot, um, but a beautiful flavor, rich in habanero flavors, and I believe that you can actually taste a little bit. It's not too strong in ginger, uh, which is a good thing. The ginger and the lemon juice really gives it um, a nice balance of flavors. Um, the sugars at the end, it's not com coming across as uh, sugary sweet or anything like that. Perfectly salted. Um, and for being a vinegar-based pepper sauce, it is not coming across as too vinegary at all. Uh, you really can't taste the vinegar, in my opinion. But this stuff is just upfront, 
rich, spicy habanero heat um, and a good amount of it. Um, if you love Tabasco sauce, but you want something that's just more gourmet, more um, intense, more flavorful, more hot, um, then this is a good one. Wow, it is really lighting me up because uh, habaneros really seem to affect me just with that stingy pins and needle uh, type heat. A little bit of the fumes going up in the eyes, and that means, you know, of how hot it is. Um, but let me show you what I did with this, guys. This is the type of table sauce that you have to have with eggs, and that's exactly what I did with it. Put it on some scrambled eggs, and it was really, really good. Excellent table sauce. I even think this stuff would be good in a beer, and a Bloody Mary, um, uh, chicken, pork, fish, um, fries, uh, just so awesome, just as a vinegar-based pepper sauce. Anything you want to give some heat to and flavor to, this is awesome. Rice and beans, chili, would be just incredible, but it is pretty hot. Wow. Uh, flavor, I love this stuff. I'm going to have to give it a strong 9 out of 10. Uh, these are my favorite types one of my favorite types of hot sauces, um, I have to give it a strong 9 out of 10. It is so well done, uh, very well blended. Uh, intense flavor from the habanero is amazing. And on heat, um, I'd say it's upper medium, definitely upper medium for most people. I think I'll give it a 6 out of 10, a solid, excuse me, 6 out of 10 on my 1 to 10 scale. Intense habanero stingy heat, uh, 6 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for flavor. Great job on this, Rich. Um, thank you so much for sending, sending it. Everybody check this company out. Give them a like on Facebook. Check them out at MelbourneHotSauce.com. And stay tuned for lots more reviews. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.